Hey guys, and welcome to tutorial number two for the bucket plugin tutorial series. Today we will be making uh, the basics, the basic setup of your project file, and um, testing some output to the console. So hopefully you guys can understand all that by the end of this episode. So let's get started. We're gonna have to open our browser again, and oops, and we're just gonna go to dl dot bucket dot org dot org and dl.bucket.org will be, I'll put a link in the description, but you're just going to click alternate versions and the bucket tab and here we're just going to download the latest beta build so you'll see here it says what type of build it is and then um, there's a little download button to the side so we're going to download the latest beta build of bucket and um, this is just the library that we're going to have to use for um, creating or sorry for accessing the bucket API now that that's downloaded, uh, we're just going to save it somewhere uh, that we can recognize it or get to it. And you're going to come back to IntelliJ, click on File, and go down to where it says Project Structure. We're going to click Libraries, oops, and then we're just going to click the plus button, Java, and then you're going to navigate to where yours went. So mine went right to Downloads, and it's Bucket 1.7.R, sorry, 1.7.2. R0.2. So, here we go. Downloaded this. Uh, yes, use for that. And now we have that imported, which is great because now we can use this in our um, plugin. So, that's really cool. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to right click, uh, sorry, drop, put the drop down arrow for YouTube tutorial, right click on source, click new package, and um, the package is where it actually contains all of your your code in sort of like a folder but it, it, it's not necessarily a folder so what we're gonna call this package is um, there's a bit of protocol for ma naming your package so for um, me since I have a website I can do com dot dipo aka Bob dot the project name and then like and, and then so that would be it mine but um, the way that you actually do websites as you can see you do the ending of the website followed by your websites domain and then uh, the rest of your your project's title. So if you do not have a website, what you're going to do is me dot your name. So for me, it would be Dipo AK Bob. And then dot the project title. In this case, is YouTube tutorial. So this is what you would do if you uh, didn't have a website. I do, so I'm going to end up doing com dot Dipo AK Bob dot YouTube tutorial. So that's all you need to do. Click OK once you have your package made. And uh, now we're going to right click on the package that we just created, mouse over new, and go to Java class. We're going to name this also YouTube tutorial, however, we're going to make it capitalized. So YouTube tutorial. So uh, now that we have this, it's going to open up this new YouTube tutorial.java thing. But before we get too far into this, um, if you guys don't quite understand how, the way that Java works, you may want to follow the new Boston's tutorial on just basic Java. I will be trying to explain some things as we go along, but um, some of the things need their own lesson, like how to make what a method is, what a class is, that kind of stuff. Uh, they might need their own lesson entirely. And so if you go uh, to the new Boston's tutorials, which I'll have a link to in the bottom, he explains them very well and um, has a somewhat lengthy tutorial on everything, er, sorry, most things in Java for beginners and intermediates. So, if you want to follow his tutorial, you can at least check out some of the basic info, like um, what a class is, what methods are, how to use them, if you'd like. Uh, or you can follow along with here. I don't recommend just following this, though, because it helps to know Java first before trying to make bucket plugins. But um, you can do what you'd like and uh, follow along here if uh, you prefer. Also, you don't you aren't required to use IntelliJ if you'd like to follow on with e along with Eclipse. It may be a bit more difficult, but the concepts are basically the same for as far as the programming goes. So, um, yeah, let's get into this. So, the first thing that we're going to add to the top of this class is the word extends, which is a keyword that uh, does a certain action that I'll be explaining later. And we're going to do Java plugin. And Java plugin is a um, it's an object which you would understand if you know Java that's inside of the library that we just imported so um, you don't need to worry about that too much but uh, it's a very important line because it lets it know that that is a bucket plugin so let's get started in here by adding a new method and a method is a block of code that's going to be run whenever it's called and uh, the way that we're going to do that is first public void on enable now 
on this on enable method is going to be called when the server is enabled. It's pretty self-explanatory for this part. But um, so when a Java plugin starts, sorry, when a bucket plugin starts up, the server says, "Hey, let's call the enabled method." So it's going to run all the code inside this method when the server is enabled. There's also an on disable method that we're going to create as well. So public void on disable and and sorry this plugin is going or sorry this method is going to be called when the server is disabled so they're both pretty self-explanatory and um, we're gonna put some code into here that's just gonna output a message to the console letting it know that the plugin is disabled but we're going to do that in just a second because we actually have to create another file so you're gonna click on the source folder you're gonna right click go over to new file and we're gonna name it plugin dot yml uh, this is where it's going to save all the different data for your uh, plugin. So this is going to contain its name, version, any commands that you're going to be using, all kinds of stuff like that. But I'll get over that. Um, I'll go over that once we start adding those things. But for now, we're just going to need to put name, a colon, a space, and YouTube tutorial because that's the name of our uh, plugin. That's what we want it to be called and then we're gonna go main now this is a bit difficult and some people mess up here and it can really screw up your plugin to where it can't even run so this is very important to know the main is going to be the path to your main class now our main class is this YouTube tutorial class but we can't just put it in there because it has it's in a package so our package that we created earlier in my case com.dipwaykbob.youtube tutorial we're gonna to need to add that to our main so you start it with com dot dipo aka bob dot YouTube tutorial dot and then the main class name in this case it's still YouTube tutorial so we're gonna go YT tutorial but uh, it's very important that you follow capitalization with this if you don't capitalize something let's say this was YouTube tutorial and I left the T lower case it wouldn't work so you have to make sure you capitalize it exactly and keep everything the exact way that it's supposed to run um, so this is all we need here we're gonna we can actually put a version if we'd like version and we'll go 0 0.1 because uh, we haven't actually had a full version of it yet anyway um, so let's go back into our Java class here in the on enable method we're gonna try and output a method a message to the console so we're gonna do get logger dot info and inside the parentheses in our info method we're gonna make a new we're gonna do uh, get description and then two parentheses dot get name then we're gonna follow that by a plus sign parentheses and has been enabled so what this is gonna do is it's gonna say hey let's grab the servers log or in this case the console and we're gonna make an info message so uh, you can do warning messages or severe messages uh, that are used for warning so this is saying this isn't a warning or anything it's just info you may want to know and it's going to get our description file which is this and it's going to grab the name so this little name area that we made right here and it's going to um, put that inside our message and then we created our string here in parentheses um, the way a string works is it's just words inside a file that can be outputted to like a um, that can be outputted to the chat or your MOTD or anything like that anywhere where words are needed that's what a string is a string is like uh, words that you would see output it somewhere or said somewhere so in this case it's gonna say has been enabled so in this case it's uh, sorry once we run this code it's gonna say YouTube tutorial has been enabled into the console and we're actually gonna test that in just a second here but first we need to make um, an output for actually copy all this code that you just put into here into your on disable and change the word enabled to disabled so now it's gonna say has been enabled and has been disabled but now we get into a bit of the tricky part with IntelliJ, and this is where people get a bit confused because um, we need to make a file that's going to output our jar. So what we're going to do is we're going to back, go back to File, Project Structure, we're going to click on Artifacts, click the plus sign, and then we're going to make go to Jar and From Modules with Dependencies. So click OK you don't need to mess with this main class but uh, this is a very important that you follow along here so uh, for this part when you see this YouTube tutorial dot jar we're gonna click where it says extracted um, bucket jar because this is the library we made so it's gonna say your extracted library and click the minus sign because we don't need that we do need 
this YouTube tutorial compiler output. So we're going to click plus. Or sorry, no. So now that we have this, we're good. And we actually have to click plus file and navigate to our plugin.yml file that we just created. So in my case it's just right under source and then it's called plugin.yml. So and now it has both of these inside the jar and that's good. Now we figure out a place where we want to save it. So I'm going to save mine right under the desktop. Let's go to users, tutorial and desktop. We're going to click OK. So now this is going right out to the desktop and that's where it's going to save our plugin. So that's great and we should be all set. We have our YouTube tutorial. Now we can click apply and okay. Okay, so now whenever you want to export your your um your plugin or make the file that it saves everything in, you click build build artifact and build. So now as you can see, uh, it's making the plugin right now and um I just clicked on that. You don't have to go on that if you don't want to. But it's running some background tasks and then it should be finished in a second. So I'll just uh, minimize this once it's done. And you can now see, oops, Spotify. Uh, you can now see that it has created our YouTube tutorial dot jar plugin. So um, I'm going to make a little server and show you guys how you can use this on a main server. So I'll be back in just a second. All right, guys. So I've now made this quick little folder here. And uh, it's just called test server. So I'm just going to click on the YouTube tutorial jar we just made and copy it. Go to plugins and we'll just paste it in here so now it's in our plugins folder and I'm just gonna click on my run and it's just gonna load up the libraries and we'll see if we get a little message from it saying that it's been enabled so hopefully we do if it could actually load stuff you know okay there we go bearing spawn area there we go and done and as you can see right here YouTube tutorial enabling YouTube tutorial version 1.0 and the, here's our message that we outputted YouTube tutorial has been enabled so that's perfect that's working great and it's amazing. Let's click this. Let's try stop. And you'll see here. Oh, it closed it automatically. But it did have a message in there that also said it's disabled. So that's great. We now have a perfectly working on enable and on disable. Uh, hopefully, you guys can understand what those do. It just sends a little message saying, "Hey, we're done. We're disabled now." Um, so we're, I think we're going to actually get into making some commands in the next tutorial. So hopefully you guys understand this. If you have any questions, um, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. I know a bit of it can be uh, a little tough to understand at first. But um, you just need to make sure that you name your package right and that you reference it correctly in here. If you have any questions of why it's not working, make sure you double check both of those. And um, make sure you follow the first tutorial where we installed the Java JDK in the beginning and uh, the compiler and such. So. Hopefully you guys got some knowledge from this. Um, sorry if I went a bit too fast. Just let me know down in the comments and I'll try and slow it up or whatever for the next tutorial. Um, next time we will be going over commands, making some basic commands that uh, do certain things. And we'll go into an advanced way of making commands. And then um, we'll have a bit more fun with some other fun, awesome Java stuff. So hopefully you guys have a little bit of an understanding of how methods work and um, some different outputting to the console ways that we can do that and we now have a working plugin that sends some stuff to the console which is awesome that's really great that we have that done so hopefully we can um, move on with this next time so thank you guys very much for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe if uh, you like the video and I shall see you guys next time